Hey guys, what's going on? It is Dan Lax, and welcome back to episode number 18 of Pokemon Insurgents. Welcome back, guys. We are here in Myara Town. Last episode, we conquered the Utyra Library with all those ghost-type Pokemon, and we found out a bunch of new information about the plotline of the game. There's some sort of prophecy going on where one of the three people, including myself, and then Nora and Damien, one of us is going to turn to the dark side. So... We're going to have to figure out who that's going to be later on, but for now, we're just going to start by checking out Myara Town. But we also need to check out the Pokemon right behind me. That's right. I got myself a Houndoom, guys. I got it level 42 with a decent enough nature. It's boosted attack, a special attack, I should say, and lower defense. So this thing is going to hit really hard. It's going to be a fast Pokemon. And that's kind of like what I was looking for when I was talking about this. Like I want a fire type Pokemon that's fast and special attacking so that's houndoom for you and we're gonna have to get him some special attacking moves because right now all of his moves are physical which is like not what i want so i'm gonna check my um my bag real quick and see if there's any hms or tms that i could teach him that could help out potentially like flame charge i think this is a special move i'm hoping it is uh let's find out right now i'm gonna try to teach it to him but uh well for now houndoom is gonna be our sixth but I'm really not sure because it is just tough to choose a six. Okay, never mind. This is a physical move. So it, it is tough to choose a six because um, there's so many good options in the game. Like I've passed um, some of the Pokemon I've, I guess, passed up on. You know, the Delta Gardevoir, Gengar. I've passed up on Alakazam. Like all of these really, really elite Pokemon that I've just decided to pass up on. Um, Excadrill even. I think I forgot to show this, but the... Um, the drill bird that I traded for uh, a little while back, I evolved it. Like I had leveled it up one time, and it evolved into Excadrill. So that's what Excadrill looks like. One of my favorite Pokemon, really like Exc Excadrill. But I'd rather go with the special attacker for my uh, my six slot, if like necessary. And we've also like we've I don't know we've caught uh, Axew, which could have been a Haxorus in the team, Quagsire, uh, you know, Feraligatr, Typhlosion, Lapras. So many good Pokemon that we passed up on. And it's that's what I really like about this game is they give you a ton of options like I'm honestly Gonna play through this game again probably after I'm done recording it for YouTube and My team by the time I get to this point in the game is gonna be just completely different Which is gonna be really cool. So let me take a look back at my TMs here and see what I can teach Houndoom all right incinerate. This has got to be a uh, This is a hundred percent has to be a special move But if it is I'm gonna teach it to him because I need to give him something that helps his uh Attacking ability because right now he's a little bit behind the rest of the guys in terms of level Yeah, okay. This is a special attacking move. So this is a uh, 60 damage not great, but good enough for now And I'm gonna get rid of uh, beat up here uh, The user gets all party Pokemon to attack the target The more party Pokemon the greater the damage. Oh, that's actually pretty cool Maybe I should keep that uh, Faint attack that doesn't miss but it, it doesn't have any priority how about this? Embargo? Yeah, I'll just get rid of Embargo. I'm never going to use that. Alright. So we'll get rid of Embargo for Incinerate. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, crap. I'm clicking the wrong button. <laughs> Whoops. Alright, hold on. Let me skip through this. Speed it up. Get rid of Embargo. I was clicking B instead of A. Silly Dan. Alright, we got Incinerate on... Oh, wait. Hold on a second. Oh, look at that. It doesn't actually, like, waste the TMs. You can still have them. Awesome. I didn't know that. Alright, cool. So this game is just like the uh, new generation games. It's program properly so let me go around this town and talk to some of these people uh i love my our town it's so small and peaceful hope it stays like it is okay old lady what are you interested in uh you should keep your pokemon healed and healthy okay thank you for the advice okay okay oh okay she's giving me revives never mind ladies i just asked you i appreciate those revives and let's go ahead and talk to this lady fossils and artifacts wait hold on if you're interested in fossils and artifacts, our museum is definitely the place for you. All right, that's cool. All right, let's see. What's in here? Uh, you should check the trading center in town. Ooh, there's a trading center in town. Very interesting. Oh, and she's giving me Ultra Balls. Dude, this town is just hooking me up. Much respect. We got a nose pass here or something. All right, so there's a trade center in this town. And there's also a museum in this town. So very interesting. Let's talk to this house. It was founded many years ago by sailors from the south. Um, our very little town was the first in Torin. All right. Thank you. Let's see. Because Meyer Town is near the ocean, we often get travelers overseas to so stop by. 
That's why we have an international center here for tourists who are visiting Torin. Sweet. All right, let's talk to this little girl. The blue lady give me the willies. She doesn't seem very friendly. Oh, that's like the lady that was uh, uh, was here when I first entered into the town. But I wonder what this is. This is probably the uh, museum. Uh, it could be the trading center too, so we'll see. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, welcome to the museum. Okay. Uh, not right now. Let's let's try to check everything else out first. Oh, I didn't talk to this person. We pride ourselves on the trading app. Oh, wait, no, I did talk to you. Never mind. Sorry. Sorry to bother you again. <laughs> All right. So we got a couple more houses here. A sunflora. Oh, look at that. The sunflora is giving me a freaking item. I, I like just like instantly clicked on it. I thought it was a freaking person for a second. All right. Uh, let's see. I heard the auger went to Telner Town and got attacked by assassins. Scary. I hope the same thing doesn't happen if he visits my R. I hope it does because he's a whack. Okay. Ooh, please give me toxic. Please give me toxic. Oh, come on. You can't just tell me about toxic and will o wisp and not give it to me. All right. Yeah, most of these people are useless. If you're not going to give me items, don't freaking spiel at me with a freaking novel. Okay. Well, how about this guy? Have you heard of the dragon ruins? Uh, I heard they have some connection to the Unovan mythology, uh, but I can't really be sure. Uh, they're right next to Selene City. I might be able to visit someday. Interesting. It's probably like, um, what's it called? The dragon Pokemon, Kyrim. Uh, God, I keep clicking on this girl's freaking text. Uh, Gyrim. Sky, what, what's the name? Not Skyrim. Freaking Kyrim. I don't even still know how to pronounce that name. Uh, Reshiram and Zekrom. This has got to be the trading outpost, right? All right, let's see. Somebody here wants to trade for a Delta species. Isn't that crazy? Yes, it is. I want it. I'll trade you a Machoke for Beedrill. No. <laughs> Unless it has a Delta stone with it. Let's see. My Haunter, your Vigoroth? No. I already have a Gengar. <laughs> uh, let's see. I have nothing to trade. Okay, that's fine. I'll trade you my Tropius for Vibrava. No. I have. I used to have a Vibrava, but I, still, I traded for Drillber. Would you like to trade for, with me? Um, let's see. I don't really want my Slugma anymore. I'll accept any Pokemon for it. Slugma? I already have a Macargo. Okay, this has got to be the Delta Lady. I probably have the rarest Pokemon in the building, a Delta Species. It's a Coughing, to be specific. I'll trade it for any, something valuable in return. How about a pseudo-legendary Pokemon? At the very least, one of their pre-evolutions. What the hell is a pseudo-legendary Pokemon? What? I don't even know what that is. Did, what? <laughs> I have no idea what that is. Uh, we'll figure it out in a second, though. Let me um, check the rest of the town here. I'll check them. Uh, I'll probably not check the museum just yet because there's probably going to be an event in there. All right, let me let me actually go like on the wiki or something and figure out what a pseudo legendary Pokemon is. Okay, guys, I figured out what a pseudo legendary Pokemon is. So apparently there's uh, at least one of them in each generation, and it's like a Pokemon that's rare in the game, but it's not considered a legendary. So in Gen One, Dragonite is the pseudo legendary Pokemon. Gen Two, Tyranitar is the pseudo legendary Pokemon, and we'll be talking about Tyranitar in further detail in a second. Um, Salamence and Metagross are the two pseudo-legendaries in Gen 3, Garchomp in Gen 4, Hydreigon in Gen 5, and then Gudra in Gen 6. So very interesting. I think I do have an extra Larvitar lying around in the PC, so I can make this trade. It said, it said, um, pseudo-legendary or any of its pre-evolutions, so, uh, Larvitar. I was surprised that Haxorus wasn't one, so I was gonna trade Axew, but I'd rather trade Larvitar anyway, because I already have a Pupitar, so we'll just swap these guys out. And uh, I'll make this trade. So that's pretty cool. I didn't. I had no idea that pseudo legendary was like actually considered a turn, but I just googled it, and it was on a, uh, it was on the wiki for Pokemon. So that was pretty cool. Uh, so let me go back to this trading outpost and make this trade. I'm curious to see what the typing on this Delta coughing is going to be. Probably not going to train it just because it's a coughing, and I don't like coughing. If it's a really good nature or a really good nature or typing, I might consider it. Uh, all right, here we go. So yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yep. See, Lar Larvitar is available for this. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so we're going to trade Larvitar away. Don't worry. I already have Pupitar still. And we're going to get this uh, coughing here. I wonder what typing it is. What the heck? Uh, judging by that, flying maybe? I have no idea. It's hard for me to tell. Just I'm just, just based off like those clouds maybe. Let's see what typing this thing is. Uh, electric flying. Okay, that's pretty cool. And it's got a pretty bad typing or nature because of... Um, this thing's got really high defense when it's a, a wheezing. That's kind of like it's a, it's a 
its main feature is as a really good defensive Pokemon. So it's cool to have another Delta. I have no intention of training this thing though. So let me throw it back in the PC and then I'm gonna do something that I've been really excited to do for a while. And that is finally get a Tyranitar. So I have three rare candies and Pupitar is level 52. So I trained him up a little bit off camera. I actually trained the whole team a little bit off camera. So um, while I was looking for the Houndoom with a good nature, as you can see, I caught like freaking 60 Houndooms trying to find a good nature. So I have Houndoom and then Scizor level 54, Snorlax 49, Charizard 51, Azumarill 49, and then Pupitar 52. So now guys, we're going to be able to complete the cycle of evolution for Pupitar. He's going to be immediately one of my strongest Pokemon. So let's go ahead and use the rare candies and level them up. Okay, there's one, there's two, and he's trying to learn Earthquake, perfect. Just what I needed, just what the doctor ordered. Yes, please. Um, should I get rid of my custom move? I mean, it has really good coverage, maybe I should keep it. Thrash is really good too, though. Um, I kinda wanna get rid of the custom move. It's pretty, it's kinda useless. All right, I'll get rid of the custom move. I figured out how to do that, by the way but I just um, don't really care. You have to go back to the guy in the black market and he lets you customize it, so. Um, I just never bothered to do it. All right, here we go, one more time. Level 55, and here we go. Now we get ourselves an absolute beast. One of my all-time faves. It's a, it's a dominant Pokemon. And uh, you guys are gonna see something even better once we finally get this guy evolved here, so. Here it is, it's about to happen. A Tyranitar is on the squadron. Gotta love Tyranitar, man. Just an overall dominant Pokemon. Just a great guy. So now, so now, guys, you thought I was done? Look at this. I found Tyranitarite, which is his Mega Evolution Stone. So, oh, you thought the show was over? Heck no. He's already holding Lucky Egg. Oh, we're gonna switch it out. So now, guys, we have a grand total of three Mega Evolutions on the team. Mega Delta Scissor, Mega Delta Charizard, and Delta, or no, just regular Mega Tyranitar. So I found this thing in the desert. I went on the wiki to find it, but uh, as you can see, this guy's got a boosted defense, dominant Pokemon. This is going to be awesome. Rock Slide, Earthquake, Thrash, and Crunch. Those, those four moves right there will probably be the final moves, because that's pretty good coverage. And I'm excited to, to use Tyranitar. So let me throw him out in the, in the top spot for a little bit. Even though I do need to train Houndoom this episode. But check it out, guys. We have a Tyranitar. Tyranitar is chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all cool. Nice. Like Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. That's what I should rename him. All right. So let's go ahead and continue on with the game. That way, all, all those chores done. Let's go into the museum. Okay. Welcome to the museum. This has got some classic Gen 2 music up in here. All right, I wonder what's going on in here. Should I just, should I even waste my time talking to all these people? Okay. It's pretty cool that there's like a bunch of like stuff in here. I f something tells me that like, these people don't really have much to say though. Okay. Something about ancient ball, whatever. I ordered some fossils at the shop. Oh, this guy gave me an old amber. Thanks, buddy. I was gonna, I was actually gonna buy one of those from the black market. That's funny. But I'll take it from here instead. Okay. So that lady doesn't really have much to say. I already talked to that guy. All right, let's go downstairs. Okay. All right, so we have this guy here. Uh, it's incredible that we actually have an object as rare as the blue orb in this museum. Uh-oh. That's bad. The blue orb summons Kyogre. So that's bad. <laughs> it's such a rich history from Hoenn to uh, Johto, I think is what it said. Yeah, that's bad. Because now this lady is going to come and steal it, I bet. Uh, that white-haired woman gives off bad vibes, you know. Uh, her aura is out of whack, man. Yeah, that's far out. All right, that's uh, the downstairs. That leads outside, so we'll go this way. I'm sorry, but the blue orb was donated to us by a very important sponsor. It's very valuable, so you need to accompany you. Uh, so I'll need to accompany you if you want to take a closer look. Sound good? Yes, it does. This orb is quite has quite the history. It powered Kyogre back in the day, uh, back in the days of the beginning of the universe. It was also involved in the Aqua Hoenn conflict 50 years ago. Whoa, this, this game has taken place 50 years from that? That's really cool. That's awesome. Okay. Um, it was used by Archie to revert Kyogre uh, to its primal form. 
It was generously donated to us by someone who wishes to remain. Oh, no way. Ah, uh, hello, miss. Uh, I was just in a speech about the orb. Perhaps you... Oh, no, sorry. I'm only here for the relic. Uh, Ma'am, I'm sorry, but I can't save it. Let's make this easy for both of us. I'm sure you know of the Abyssal Cult. You mean the terrorists? Uh, are you trying to intimidate me? Well, yes, actually. I'm kind of a murderer. <laughs> It'd be easy for both of us uh, if you just moved. Uh, you don't even look like one of, the, of their members. Uh, that's because I'm actually not. I'm the leader. Oh, boy. Here we go. Thank you. Uh, wait. What are you planning on doing with it? Well, you tell me. Uh, what could the leader of the Abyssal Cult possibly want, uh, with the artifact of Lugia? Wait, since when is it Lugia? I thought it was Kyogre. Uh, you, you, you must want to summon. You must want it to summon. Crap. Uh, wait, what? The blue orb is Kyogre's artifact, not Lugia's. Uh, ah, here it is. A secret compartment. Clever. Oh, interesting. It's hard to believe the title bell was this easy to find. The title bell? But, but, please... Why wouldn't I want some cheap plastic ball when Lugia's bell is resting underneath of it? Okay. Uh, but that's the blue orb. The legendary artifact of Kyogre. You're absolutely right. But that's not the orb. A fake? How do you know? Uh, and how did you know the bell was there? The best place to hide something is in plain sight. Nobody would think to look for the bell next to a fake orb. And well, this cheap plastic ball here, I donated it. Oh, very interesting. Why? Dot, dot, dot. Uh, well, as, that was weird. Well, as the leader of the Abyssal Cult, everyone assumes I'm after Kyogre. Naturally, people want me to get my hands on the blue orb. Uh, okay. Uh, having a copy, um, that's in a guarded museum. Well, that, what, well, what better way to make everyone think I don't already have it? And don't think I haven't noticed you there, Dan. Oh, crap. Not me again. Uh, you're the one that Mew chose. Uh, you want to stop me? Bring it. I'll be waiting. Uh, to the south of Myara, Myara, uh, the current location of the World Islands. Lie at the current location of the World Islands, sorry. Um, when you're ready to lose, just stop on by. Damn, that lady's smart. She knew your name? Just who are you exactly? I need to report this incident to my superiors. Oh man, I'm going to be in so much trouble. Oh, come on, bro. Like, I didn't do anything. Okay, thank you for visiting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's go down south here. Um, T-Tar is probably not going to be much help for this area because it's going to be probably a lot, bunch of water-type Pokemon. So let's see, how do I get out of here? There's some sort of, like, garden down here or something. Wait, what's this way? Maybe there's, like, a secret secret item or something. Uh, nope, not really. Uh, oh, crap, just a Tentacruel. T-Tar, please be faster, buddy. Oh, no, can't escape. All right, let me try to Mega Evolve, and I'll just kill it. How about that? All right. Uh, let's give it a little Mega Evolve, and I'll just EQ it. That should kill it. All right, here we go. First Mega Evolve for T-Tar in his first battle. Oh, what a beast. Mega Tyrantar is, is really, really good. Whoa, that looks hilarious. That sprite looks funny, man. All right. Let me Earthquake you. Dead. Have a nice day. Mega Tyrantar ain't messing around. All right, let's keep going. Um, let me just hop into this garden and see what's up. What do you want, lady? Uh, I run a small garden out in the ocean. It's just a hobby, but I love doing it. The sea air is great for the lungs and plants stay hydrated. All right, well, that was completely useless. All right, well, anyway, let's let's try to figure out the way out of here. So let's go down south. Literally, a Pokemon? Really? Oh, my God. Not Tentacruel again. Please be able to run this time. Yes. All right, let me, let me take Tyranitar out of the top spot since he's kind of slow. I'll put uh, Houndoom up front, because your boy Houndoom has got some speed under him. Alright. What is this? This is pretty cool. Alright, so apparently the Whirl Islands are down here. Whoa! Is this a quag? Dude, it's just a wild quag! Dude, this game is playing with my with my feels right now. There's just having a wild quagsire just stand there for me. Oh my god, that's awesome. I love Quag. It's my all-time fave. Can I please... Can you please let me surf? Thank you. And I've always been having that issue. Alright, there's a... There's an item right there that I need to acquire. 
Swana. No, dude, I got I got Mega Doom. I can't wait until I get Hound Doom Mega. It's gonna be awesome. All right. Ooh, T Wave. Big fan. What is that Pokemon over there? Is that a Corefish? If this is a Corefish, that would be an interesting catch. Cause Crawdon is kind of broken. Never mind. It's only level 12. All right. It is raining. Whoop de doo. All right. Let's get back in the water. If I had some max repels for this, that'd be nice. Cause I already have a Water type Pokemon. I don't really need to look at any of these. All right. So we have like. And yeah, then our core fish, I'll just pass on that. What else we got in here? Swana again. It's raining. Whatever. Oh, no. I can't escape. Please let me escape. Oh, jeez. All right. I got to put something even faster out front for Swana. Damn, my team is slow. That is one of the problems of my team. I mean, Houndoom's not slow. He's just a low level. But, yeah. I, I got to get this, this solved because uh, we can't be going on having my team this low of a level. It's It's bad. Uh, but this slow, I meant. I need to get some faster guys. Okay, hold on a second. Let me uh, give Lucky Egg to somebody. Uh, Zoom roll, ideally. And let me also give the XP share to, to Mega Doom here. Alright. I'll give him to Hound Doom. And let me also run a Max Repel if I have one. Do I have any Repels? Eh, probably not. I have like a, some regular Repels, but those are useless. Right, how much further do I have to go before I like reach my destination here? Wingle, don't care. Oh god, I just accidentally attacked it. Poor Wingle. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. All right. Uh. All right, here we go. Whirl Islands. Perfect. All right, please not be like some complicated maze. Like I don't want to have to deal with it. All right. What's this? I really hope this isn't like the actual Whirl Islands. They're like super complicated. That would be really annoying, like in Gen 2. Oh, right, here we go. We got a person to fight. Uh, okay, let me throw out somebody else in the top spot here for now. I actually need to train Pudding a little bit. So let me give Pudding some chances here at the front. Because Pudding is uh, a grass type who dominate all these water type guys. All right, let me go ahead and take this person out. Abyssal Colt, don't care. Quillfish, that's actually not good. That thing is poison. Uh, it's almost dead. Oh my god, the damage. Holy crap, man. Good thing Snorlax can heal himself with synthesis. Man, Snorlax is a tough out, I'll tell you. Like, how do you kill this thing if you're an opponent? Like, look at this, I can just heal. Okay, that's how you kill it. You got a critical hit on Ice Beam. <laughs> Never mind. Alright, let me go and go into Zoom Roll here. Give Zoom Roll some chances. Okay, uh, play rough. Ice Beam, that's not doing anything. Man, that dude just comes out with the... What is this coverage, dude? Bullet Seed? Oh my god, I missed two play roughs in a row? Damn, dude. I'm getting some hacks cheese to start this off. Damn. I just got bull. Just got some bull crap. Alright, let me... I'll run Cleaver in the top spot for now. Alright, well, I'm already down for one Pokemon. Alright, what are we gonna find in the Whirl Islands? Celio. Interesting. Evolves into Wall Rain, which is a, a pretty good Pokemon. It's not great. It was really good in Gen 3. Because it was just an, it was a, a, uh, a Dragon Slayer in Gen 3. Because dragons were still really OP back in the day. Uh, hey, what are you doing? Alright. Starmie. Uh, yeah, I can kill this thing. I'll just, I'll just Night Slash it. Should kill it in one shot. No problemo. Unless he gets outspeeds. Oh my god, are you serious? This thing outspeeds. Please get through the confusion. Thank you. That didn't kill? How? I guess I just need adaptability. Oh my god, dude. I am getting hacked so bad right now. Holy moly. Man, that star me just put up a fight, dude. Alright. Damn. I'm gonna have to heal or something. I'm not even, like, close to the end of this yet. Alright. Ooh, here we go. We're going outside. What is this? W what is this? It's like relics on that or something. Dude, I don't know. This this place seems like it's complicated. Like, I'm not a big fan of that. Oh, that's why. Okay. Hyper Potion. Okay, I'll use that for sure. Okay. Let's see what's in here. No, not a wild Pokemon. Another Celio. Get out of my face. Okay, this has got to be, like, the pathway to success here. Like... 
this has got to be it for sure. Alright, I'll just travel everywhere and just maybe I'll find it. I guess I'm only going to run into Celio in this cave. Okay, there's a person there. Let's go up here and see if there's anything. Ooh, a ball. I will take that. Even though I'm never going to use timer balls, I'll take it anyway. Alright, let me uh, let me fight this person here. So, we will take on the Abyssal Cult members with their funny jump shoot, jumpsuits. Alright, this thing will be an easy kill. Low sweep it. Kill in one hit. No way this thing outspeeds me. And you're dead. Yeah, I'm telling you, when, when Cleaver actually uses his fighting type and ice type moves like, with adaptability, like, it, every, it's, it's ridiculous. Everything dies. So I just have to make sure I do that. What's this thing? A strange set of tiles rests on the pedestal. Oh, what in the world? Oh, not this stuff. I have no idea how to solve this. All right, let's let's think logically here. No. Uh, we got to move this one up to the top. Okay, so that's in that corner. We gotta you, know, you always got to think about corners, right? Okay. This is actually really hard. It's like inverted almost. There we go. That's in that corner. Okay. Man, this is annoying. I, I, I hate having to do puzzles like this, but I guess it must be done. Okay, so we got that corner. All right. Always start off with the corners. I learned this from, uh, I learned this from, uh, <laughs> diversity too. Okay. Man, this is, I'm trying to get this thing to the other side. It's so difficult. There we go. All right, that's correct. Okay. I got to get this thing over. Okay, that's there. And wait, I got to get this thing over now. This is annoying. No, I messed this up. Oh, man. Alright, I'm just going to solve this, guys. And I'm not going to waste your time. I'm just going to solve it. I'll, I'll just cut to when it's solved. Alright, guys. I just clicked out of the puzzle by accident. This thing is so annoying. I think I almost got it. Basically, I looked it up and it's a Meloetta. And it gives you, like, some scroll. So, it has nothing to do with the storyline. So, I don't have to, like, complete it to continue on. So, I'm just going to ignore it. it. It was really freaking annoying. It's, there was a similar puzzle to that in Generation 2. And literally, that was... I almost had it. And then, I accidentally clicked out of it. And I was like, god dang it. But whatever. We're just going to have to keep going. Uh, this seems to be a dead end all around, though. So, I'm going to have to head back out. Alright guys, I'm going to try this entrance instead. I haven't gone this one yet, so let me give this one a try. Hopefully this is the correct one. Because, man, this place, it, it's just bringing back triggered memories of getting lost in the World Islands from not when I was playing Silver Version. So I'm a little pissed off right now. And I literally run into a wild Pokemon every freaking step. Oh my god, this is so frustrating. I need to throw on a repel. You know, I only have like one of them. All right, okay, I have two regular repels. That should be decent enough. Okay, let's see. This this has got to be the way. Please be the way. Uh, all right, let me fight you. All right, I really hope that this is the thing. I like how they're just they're using the Kyogre thing to cover up for the freaking uh, Lugia. That's funny. All right, watch. Even though it's not super effective, this is gonna give like super effective. Never mind. Basculin apparently outspeeds a Scizor. Oh my God, man. All right, well, my team's all beat up right now, so let me just keep going Charizard and just... And I can't Mega Evolve it, because freaking I just did. All right, whatever. We'll just Shadow Ball it a couple of times. It can't touch me. But yeah, that's annoying. Like, how does a freaking, like, not outspeed? Like, that's... I just don't understand. Like, I get, like, Scizor is slow, but, like, Basculin is fast? Since when? Oh, my God, really? You're going to use Toxic on me? Okay, I see how it is. Whatever. The drag algae is gone. 
Houndoom leveled up. I'll take it. All right, let's keep going. So Charizard's about to like run out of health too, because he's about he's about done. And there's an Ultra Ball out there. I'm not even gonna waste my time. Yes, I want to use another repel, please. Can I heal Charizard too? Is Charizard healable? I've got to have like a uh, full heal. Here we go. Get Charizard healed. All right, and then yeah, I'm gonna have to find some sort of. Uh, I guess I'll just jump down here. Have I, have I fought you yet? I don't think so. Yeah, but I have to. I'm gonna have to find some way to heal my Pokemon because right now the squad is super weak. All right, I guess I'll just Mega Evolve Tyranitar and I'll just hit him with a Crunch. Hopefully he doesn't just like Hydro Pump me or something. Oh, I outspeed. Sweet. Look at that defense. Defense wins championships. Let's go, Titar. All right, awesome. Gorbis, I'll just stay in. Gorbis. What I gotta say, Huntail Gorbis combo in Gen 3, those have gotta be like the most forgotten about Pokemon. Like have you do you ever see those things? No. It's just Pokemon that only get one evolution are just forgot about typically. Whoa, look at how small this sliver of water is. I can't believe I can actually surf on this. Alright, can I fight you? Let's let's give it a shot. Okay, Alamomola. Oh my god, this thing is just a pain in the butt. This thing is obnoxious. Mega Evolve. Holy defense on this thing, dude. Alamomola. Alright, we killed it. Good stuff. Luminion. I'll stay in. Another Pokemon that I just like forgot existed. I actually had a shiny Luminion back in Generation 4, my playthrough of Diamond version. I actually found it. Oh, no, I think I traded for a shiny Luminion. And I trained it. But still, kind of a forgotten Pokemon. All right, here we go. More surfing. No, I keep on, I like holding down it, like ready to go, and then I just mess up. Are you serious? This is gonna take me back outside. Okay, here we go. This might be this the destination, or not. Maybe this is just an escape rope. Why can't I go up the staircase? There we go. Man, I am so confused going through these Whirl Islands, guys. Like, the Whirl Islands are just confusing beyond belief. All right. Is this it? This has got to be it right here. Uh, I think this is like where I first entered. I'm so lost, guys. I'm just going to have to figure this out at the beginning of next episode. So thank you guys very much for watching this episode of Pokemon Insurgents. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Uh, World Islands are complicated, man. They're, they're just confusing. I just don't know where to go. So I'll figure it out next time. This actually gives me a good opportunity to go back to the Pokemon Center and heal my Mons before I get into a fight with a Lugia maybe or something next episode. But hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.